Molly and today I'm going to show you how to tune your guitar. There are two ways that you can tune it as far as I'm aware of. The first one is you can tune by ear. I know the technique to it but I'm not going to show it to you because it doesn't work for me when I tune by ear. But the way I tune my guitar is with a tuner. It's electronic. Um, I'm just going to show you. So this here is a chromatic tuner. It's also a metronome and this is by TGI. A metronome, you'll be familiar with this if you play the piano, I think, is um, it's used to help you keep in time with the music that you're playing. This here is a metronome. Um, so although I've got one inbuilt on there, this is the one I would use if I wanted to keep in time um, to a certain pace. And I just take this off. And this weight here determines the speed at which the metronome goes at. You'll hear a very loud click there will be a certain amount of time apart between the clicks so if I was playing at a, um, a slow pace I would move this up to Largo the clicks would be quite far apart and this would keep me playing at slow pace for us. if I was going to play at a fast pace I would move this down to Allegro and it would the clicks would be much quicker so that's an option this here is what the tuner looks like. Here it's got a flap. This is quite useful because if I was going to play this with it on a flat surface, I wouldn't be able to see the screen. Whereas if I use this here, it stands up and I'm able to see it. So this here is the, uh, the tuner. I always tune my guitar in standard. So that means I would tune it um, E, B, G, D, A, E. So I turn it on here with this button at the side. This, um, this hole here is where I would plug in the lead and then I would attach it with the clip to the sound hole of my guitar which I'll show you later and I'm going to start off with an E so where it says note value I select E now you, um, you may notice um, it will come up with sharps and flats that will have E flat, you know, D sharp maybe all that means is some people don't tune their guitars standard. So if you tune it to a C or a step up or a step down, it may involve using a sharp or a flat, which this tuner is able to do. But um, I always tune mine standard. It's just most songs that are written, they're tuned in standard. It's just easier to remember, easier to play. It's kind of like the universal language for music, basically, um, standard. So now it's on E. And you can see here it says flat and it's got a red dot right here but there's a green dot next to it and there's another red dot on the side there's a dial here and it will move when i play the notes until if it meets the green dot it's correctly tuned if it goes too far out this side or too far out this side it's not in tune so i'll just give you an example and i'm just going to plug it into the tuner as i showed you and it's already set to an E, so it should tune to an E. Um, now then, in order for it to tune to an E, I'm going to pluck the E string. Um, I'm tuning my E string to an E because this is standard. Standard means all the strings are tuned to their note. So this is an E, I'm tuning it to an E. This is an A, I will tune it to an A. But if you tune it differently, like someone might tune their A string to an E. Some people, so for example, if I was going to play in drop D, I would tune both my E strings to a D rather than an E, but I always prefer to tune mine standard, so I'm going with E, and um, I'm going to show you with this string here, so this is, I, was, I always start this way, I always start with this string and I work my way going from the 6th to the 1st string, it's just more practical for me, and I would clip this in as I showed you, into the sound hole, and you want to be careful that the string is not touching the wire otherwise it will buzz and you won't be able to tune it properly so yeah I don't recommend whacking your tuner I'm going to show it to you now because it's on the green light so now it's on the green light Apparently that means it's in tune. Um, my, my tune is a bit temperamental when it's on low battery, but 
I said it's in tune. I don't think it doesn't sound that much in tune to me. Mm. But usually, what would happen is if I played that note and it wasn't correct, the dial may go this side and then that side, and it's all to do with the vibrations. And what you'll find is the tighter your string is, so if I turn it in one direction, it will get the string will get very tight, and then it, the, the sound will get higher because the vibrations will be significantly more. Whereas if my string was quite loose, the vibrations will be less and then the sound will be quite low. And if you didn't understand anything that I have shown you or anything I've spoke to you about, just let me know and I can either inbox you or I can actually do a real-time demonstration of how I tune my guitar because I will change these batteries. I will have to eventually. And then what I'll do is my next video, I'm actually going to show you a chord. Thank you very much for watching that and I really hope it helped you.